Hello. So then in this video, what I want to talk about is the basic rules and uh, laws that we follow when we're dealing with parallel, sorry, parallel and series resistive circuits. So again, some big things we really want to keep in mind are Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. So we're going to start with those two. So uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law, we'll start with that one, tells me that all voltages in a closed loop are going to equal zero. So let's start with series, right? So if I have a source voltage, all of my voltage drops across my load have to equal zero. So what we see here is we see that E total or our source voltage equals V1 plus V2 plus V3. So our voltages add up directly. Whereas here what we see in that parallel is that this is a closed loop, this is a closed loop, and this is a closed loop. So we actually see that our E total equals all of our voltage drops. All right, so that's our voltage rules and that's the kind of formulas that we would use for our calculations. Now, current is the big one, right? As electricians, that's what we care about. How is current flowing through the circuit? How does our current add up? So looking at that, in this parallel, or sorry, it's in this series circuit, there is only one path for current to flow. So no matter where I am within that circuit, my current is gonna be the same. Right, so current, or Kirchhoff's current law, says that all current entering a node is the same as a current leaving that node. So, you know, if I'm entering resistor one, it's gonna be the same as my current leaving resistor one. So that being said, coming into our parallel, all current entering this node must be the same as the current leaving that node. So our I total is actually I1 plus I2 plus I3. So that's how our current adds up in that circuit. Next, I wanna talk about ohms or opposition to current flow, right? So our ohmic value is our opposition to current flow. In this case, we're just resistance. So we're just gonna talk about resistance, but so let's think about I'm current and I'm flowing through this circuit. First, I need to overcome this resistive value. Then I need to overcome this one. And then I need to overcome this one to get back to the source. Well, all of the ohms or opposition or resistance in a series circuit adds up directly. So my R total equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay. Now it changes a little bit in parallel, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, because I now, as current flowing through this, have the option of splitting off, my ohmic value as I add more resistance in parallel actually decreases. So we call this an inverse relationship. So what we actually see is our total, right? And there's so many different ways to write this, so I'm gonna write it out uh, in one way, right? So the one over RT equals one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. So they add up inversely. My preference for writing that out, again, personal preference, is I like to write it out as I would type it into my calculator. So I go RT, right, my total current equals bracket R1 inverse plus R2 inverse plus R3 inverse, and then I inverse that whole calculation. So that's how I would go about doing that. Um, so those are just your basic formulas and comparison of purely resistive series or parallel circuits. And again, now once we can calculate those, add up those totals, our favorite Ohm's law is gonna come into play, which is current is directly proportional to voltage and inversely proportional to resistance. So with those two formulas, you should be able to calculate some basics, uh, you know, using Ohm's law and using our total. Um, but again, I hope, you th I hope that this helps. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.